Okay. All right. So let's just introduce Mod Tabber. He's coming in remotely, uh, and he may even tell us where he's coming in remotely from. But let's give him a very, very warm ComCon welcome. Um, hello, everyone. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, could you hear me? Okay, 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 okay. Um, my name is uh, Mushtabo. Uh, in this time, I, I want to talk about one of the uh, module in Camellio is called Elarka Proxy and using it as a media engine, back-to-back -back user agent in voice over IP cloud services. Uh, who am I? Mm, this slide is not changed right now, okay? I don't know why my slide is not changing. Okay, let's continue my presentation. Uh, I am PhD students in Azad University of Mashhad. Uh, my research topic is about uh, low latency video uh, dash streaming using uh, WebRTC and uh, quick uh, protocols. Uh, I wrote a first book in Persian language about asterisk project. Uh, also, uh, I am so glad I am a member of Camellio uh, Developer Project. Uh, I have developed three modules for Camellio, uh, Larka Proxy. Actually, I want to talk more about it in upcoming slides, uh, HIOPS related for a handover interface operation uh, for having a lawful uh, interception in voice over IP network. And RTSP is related to integrating uh, RTSP and C protocol to have real time camera streaming in voice over IP network. Uh, what is Elarka proxy? And what about voice over IP cloud services? Elarka proxy is a kernel RTP media engine for delivering low latency RTP packets in your network. The Elarka proxy architecture is composed to different layer, controlling layer and transport stateful layer. The first layer is developed as a user space application. Actually, I mean uh, developed in seven layer in OSI model. 
And the second one is developed as a Linux kernel module, the main decision point for RTP admission control and quick pass selector. In this picture, uh, this picture show like a proxy architecture in two layer. As you could see here, the first layer developed as a module in Camellio. The second part is um, the Elarca proxy engine that should be loaded in your operating system as a module. As you could see here, all RTP packets, when it comes to LR Cup Proxy Engine, immediately forward in the network stack in your, operate, uh, in your uh, operating system. This technique is called CPU offloading because no more consume a process time for uh, doing uh, forwarding process in your operating system. Uh, the first layer is responsible to get all information from STP body during signaling when you want to make a call and relaying all of them to the second layer when you want to make a call, for example, in Camilio, all related STP options, as you could see here, for example, uh, what is SRC IP of caller or colleague? Uh, what is destination IP? Or what about uh, the, some uh, STP parameter information like SRC port, DST port, and all other extra information. Gather all information from STP and send them to another layer. The second layer is responsible for get all information and create algorithms for doing some admission control. For example, uh, this packet, RTP packet, is related from uh, to uh, specific sessions, and then trying to find out the next destination, change some uh, data in the packet in peroting, and forward all packets to the next destination. Yeah, could, uh, you could see here. Uh, here is a, a prototype and a picture of the p uh, network stack in your operating system. For example, we have a peer routing stack. Uh, we have a road decision to make a decision uh, what we should uh, to do for uh, incoming packets goes to local poking or goes to forward to another destination. We have to load RTP proxy just after peer routing, after all packets goes to operating systems. All packets goes to uh, LR cup proxy engine for making the correct decision. Uh, the follow chart of LRK proxy transport stateless kernel. When a packet goes to your NIC driver in your network, in your uh, network stack, because uh, we uh, had uh, loaded LRK proxy in your kernel operating system, make the decision and try to figure uh, find out the next decision. 
After that, the packet goes to and forward to the another decision in your network. Because we use this pass in your network stuff, this technique is, uh, is called offloading CPU because uh, the packets don't need goes to uh, upper layer in outside model and for uh, figure out in your space application, uh, all these uh, works uh, could need to uh, consume CPU for processing the packets. When the IP packet is received, go to the next step. The next step is admission control algorithm for is a real uh, packet or not, or the packet is uh, related to a current session or not. After that, calcul uh, calculate a hash index of a packets for finding and searching in hash table in kernel Linux module. After matching algorithm, the LRCOP proxy accept the packet and prepare the packets for relaying and then accept for forwarding the packets. Um, what happened in matching algorithm? Actually, when a packet received by NIC and LRCA proxy, depend on your configurations, multiple hash coding and hash keys would be created. For example, uh, in configuration, uh, we set uh, use a five parameter for having five tuple for creating hash, or uh, you may uh, want to uh, decrease number of parameter. For example, just use RC port and destination port, or uh, composition of all parameter. In this section, we create a K for hashing and go to destination um, the, the next section the next section the next section we use and find in hash table is there any record in hash table or not if i found a record um, goes to buckets and try to um, reach the information of the next destination. Uh, what about uh, the system of models in your network? Probably you have to use a lot of proxy in your network with different options. Here uh, we, I, I use, uh, try to describe uh, using a lot of proxy in this, uh, in this uh, section. Uh, the system of models uh, in this is in a system of models in uh, my network, I have a, a layer access for uh, using, uh, for example, customers connect to my network for uh, making calls. Uh, the control layer, uh, we have call session control function for uh, signaling and the uh, um, next session the uh, next layer is service layer for example using a uh, mmtl or telephony access service for making call or switching calls uh, in this picture i mm, try to show uh, the um, about part is related for 
a signaling session and the second one is um, related to RTP packets. When uh, we want to make a call, the signaling follows, uh, goes to PCSCF, ICSCF, SCSCF, and uh, choosing uh, which application service is needed. After that, uh, media streams and RTP follows goes to uh, IBCF for uh, going to other IMS network or other uh, PSCN network. Uh, some challenges uh, that probably um, we have encountered with them. With raising of requests in voice of our IP cloud network, the resource utilization will be increased because two important factors. The first one is related to call per second in signaling and the second one in RTP stream, because uh, handling RTP streams in the network uh, could increase the resource utilization in your network. Question one, how many calls does your network cloud network handle? It's a, a common question when you wanna uh, try to establish a network. And the second one, which part of your network could be bottleneck in your network? Bottleneck network, a bottleneck point in your network could be divided in two sections. The first one is related to signaling, and the second is related to RTP streams. For example, in signaling, follow you probably use SPC in your edge, Camellio in call system control function, pass, and use some Astro server or FreeSuite server for doing uh, exchanging a call or bridging calls. And the second one is related to uh, RTP streams. For example, uh, for uh, bridging media from uh, your network to other network and uh, related to asterisk server because asterisk is a member of uh, your nodes in the uh, RTP streams. Question two. How many resources or list of material does your network need to handle, for example, 20,000 or more calls? Suppose uh, we wanted to set up a voice over IP network with uh, handling uh, 20,000 or more calls. Uh, we should uh, consider it about signaling flow and RTP flow. In system of model, uh, we use a default Camellio configuration in the system under test. For example, uh, in PCSCF, ICSCF, SCSCF, uh, we use a number of uh, four children for 14 and uh, other uh, predefined configuration is listed in Table. Uh, in practical experiment, we use CP tools and Abacus experiment for making calls for generating RTP media. Uh, as you know, uh, when we make uh, 5,000 calls, actually uh, we have uh, 10,000 leg calls or bridge calls, each call because uh, is uh, bidirectional, 
we totally have a 20,000 concurrent RTP session in like a proxy in one server. Question, how many cores of CPU do you think will be consumed by like a proxy to handle this number of calls in voice over IP network? What do you think about this? Here is a picture of um, my resource in Elarca proxy with eight core of CPU. As you could see here, in high peak traffic, actually I mean 20,000 concurrent calls, just two pipe red line. As you could see here, is consumed by like a proxy. As you know, a red line is a represent uh, some doing works uh, in kernel space. Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, what about GT options in configuration? Let's uh, talk about uh, describe GT in with a picture. Okay. Suppose uh, we have a server, uh, one uh, user equipment and one uh, user equipment two here. When user equipment one call one to call user equipment two, uh, we reserve it two different port. For example, uh, here uh, 20,000 and here uh, uh, 20,002. If we set a GT option here to one, as you could see here, a lot of proxy use the same ports for a session. It uh, could be a useful option when uh, you have a high traffic in your network or using like a proxy in a transit IMS gateway for uh, delivering a huge traffic from one leg to another leg. Uh, multiple like a proxy configuration. Uh, probably in your network, uh, you need to have a multiple like a proxy that is distributed in different zone. In this situation, uh, we could have one like a proxy control in the central as uh, uh, that work as central and multiple like a proxy transport layer in different machine in different zone. It's possible to do not lose session when a, like a proxy engine crash. Uh, for example, uh, if um, we lose one of like a proxy in our network, because we using a etcd project for a sharing all k value in like a proxy nodes, uh, we could recover all incoming calls uh, in the network. Uh, what advantage of using like a proxy? Changing STP parameter will be done with Camellio, not by like a proxy engine. And because Camellio is running as a fork process, uh, more than one fork process doing and changing STP parameter in your session. For warning packets in like a proxy, 
is done in a pre-routing hawking in network stack. Elaka proxy support NAT traversal for endpoints. You could set custom STP information by attribute value pair in your network. For example, when uh, we want to establish a like a proxy in AWS, uh, we have to use uh, this option in our network because all um, AWS servers are behind NAT. Um, in Elaka proxy, we could use RTCP for uh, getting uh, some uh, quality of service parameter related to RTCP packets. Uh, with concept of uh, game theory or GT option, we could use a resource port allocation in your network. Because we use forwarding packets in operating system, we have to set this option in CCTL configuration in your operating system. Elaka proxy does not support transcoding because uh, it's uh, developed just for um, forwarding huge number of uh, traffic from one destination to another destination. And in some uh, situation, it's possible to make anchor for target RTP for lawful interception and copy from a specific RTP packets and go them to another place. And here is uh, my paper that was published in ITPL Explorer. Um, if uh, anyone needs more information related to Elarka proxy, actually uh, here is Elarka proxy. It's a former name of Elarka proxy. Uh, you could uh, go to ITPL and download it. Thank you very much for this opportunity. And sorry for lighting my presentation. Are we on? Yes. Uh, thank you, uh, Moj Taba. Thank you for coming in remotely. I don't think we can handle questions uh, because of the audio uh, issue. Um, sorry, David, I can't hear you. It's right. Very, you're no, you're, your voice is very noisy. Ah, okay. Sorry. I, I'm sorry about that, but we will give you a round of applause to say thank you. <laughs> thank you, Moj Tabba. And if anybody would like to make contact with Moj Tabba, I'm sure you can do so through the... I beg your pardon? He's on element in the ComCon group, I expect. Thank you.